40th uh, July and we're up on the art gallery roof and we're going to be uh, checking out the hives um, seeing how much honey's been laid down and generally introducing in here to the honeybee the main ingredient or one of the key ingredients uh, for the beer so I can work out which way this goes Okay, we're going in. You're going in. Yeah, we'll go. We'll take this one. So just watch that wire there. Oh, nice. Okay. That's called the super. Um, probably won't be any in there, but you can see how they start to star it in there. Yeah. And then they cover it up with wax okay. that they make by rubbing the stomach muscles together I think and then they just seal it like that and then the idea is when it gets to the winter this is their food really mm. so and if this weather keeps up we'll be laughing and this thing is called the queen excluder right. so she can't she get can't through here right. but they can because if she gets through that, she'll go into the supers with honey, then lay brood in there, and then you get. And you see, we've got the bigger ones. Yeah. They're drones, so they're the male. Yeah. The smallers are the workers. We've just got to check that she's not on the underside there. I've never known. It's a bit, but... Right. The distance there, at the end, of the smaller ones, that which is that. Younger bees, yeah. yeah. House bees. Well, so when they ha first hatch out, the first job, you're a house bee, so you look after the new brood. You spend about three or four weeks hanging around here doing jobs. It might be an undertaker bee, guard bee, and then as you get to about four or five weeks, then you'd be a foraging bee. Right. Key thing about forage is, and uh, which is what they feed on the nectar and pollen. When they're flying around the city here, mm. the key thing is what type of uh, nectar and pollen they bring back, nectar being uh, like a carbohydrate, pollen being like your kind of protein. So if, you, if your foraging bees are coming back with high protein pollen, that's good for healthy young house bees. But also the then foraging bees need a lot more carbohydrate, so you've got the balance of forage. So around the city, they're probably going two or three miles in all this direction searching out the best stuff so more stuff we can have like this yeah. it's basically do you feed your bees on chips or do you give them all by the gel that's the kind of question yeah. uh, you have to ask yourself so the more the, the planting like the wild native flowers provides the best food source uh, for bees and all pollinators you know. and then yeah. show you the workings so that starts flat yeah and they push all that up that all that those cells have been created by the bees themselves. Okay, and is that the same stuff that they seal it with? The same? Yes, it's right. wax stuff, and it's wax all guns. Yeah. actually bigger. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. They... And drones. You have to correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Here. Drones take longer to incubate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the vroa mite likes it in there because there's more stays in there. Yeah. But this. Uh, she's trying to get away from us. Yeah. There we go, queen bee. Now, what some people will do is capture that queen, yeah. mark her, and clip one of her wings, which is easier said than done, isn't it? Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah that. That's. See, see how long the longer body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's burying her there. Yeah. So are they protecting? Try and protect her. Yeah. 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 Right. Or she's just trying to pretend to be. Nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant. <laughs> yeah. Not well, a, nothing to see here. Uh, yeah. There you go. Queen She's bee. actually a new queen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We just let um we let the queen cell go. We think they're swarmed. Yeah. And we just sort of let them get on with it really. So she's not clipped. Yeah. She's we don't clip ours or uh, 
No, because um, no, I've never met. Can you, you do in gloves them. like trying to, you know, <laughs> no, with a bit of nail varnish? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like trying to sew a button we on boxing gloves. Right. Paint all over it. It's like yeah. trying to stuff a mushroom, isn't it? Why bother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> obviously like busy. Yeah, yeah very busy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a great sign because in the summer the bees live only for six weeks. So oh, wow. It's constant. So that once all that hatches out and sort of 21 days from start to finish, mm -hmm. then your workforce goes up by that equivalent. So if you had a full size of this one, things so you'd have like another 1,000 bees, and you'd have equivalent to the same on the other side, and that's your workforce. And that beautiful pattern. They've been doing that for 100 million years. Mm. Yeah. These are very well behaved. Yeah, yeah. remarkably. Wow. You can see the the yellow there. Oh yeah. Where they've been out. Oh right, the they just pulled back. Yeah, yeah collecting yeah. the pollen. It's like panniers on your bike. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way to describe, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just coming out in there. Yeah. Yeah. So no smoke either as well. So no. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, sometimes you smoke because that just mimics uh, forest fires, so they gorge themselves on it and it gets them uh, uh, yeah, like you've had a big meal, you know. So. We've got a problem with the um, air intake vents there and the engineer's got to come up but he's refusing. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. He's refusing because he's got to go past here down there. Right. And he'll only do it. I said we'll put a suit on. No. He'll only do it if I come up here with a smoker gun. Right. Because he thinks that's going to be the end to all his problems. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to go. to be keep 40 foot above Chinatown. No. So, uh, next stop we need to get uh, some Manchester honey and we need to get some Manchester marjoram and we've got some uh, on the allotment in Harbour Hay, which is coming into flower, so it's an early crop, and we need to get to me in Stockport to be able to do a trial run to see how we actually put together a Manchester honey and marjoram uh, beer. Yeah. Smells great. So, what kind of, what do you think the best hops would be for, would complement that? I think. And. Um, I think we'll just go with some traditional English hops, which aren't going to dominate those those aromas. No. So. The hops will just be in the background, whereas yeah. these will really come yeah. through with the honey as well, balance it out. Yeah. 